Imagine waking up one day to find that every secret you've ever shared, every private moment you've cherished, and every step you've taken has been watched, recorded, and exploited without your knowledge. This has happened to Greek politicians and journalists, and it seems to be continued. Welcome to the SEC News analysis of Shadowy World of Predator, a spyware so invasive, it turns your own devices into digital spies against you. But who's behind this? And how far have they gone unchecked? In the vast expanse of our digital world, the specter of cyber surveillance casts a long shadow, with the Predator spyware emerging as a formidable threat in the realm of digital espionage. This sophisticated malware has been meticulously engineered to breach the sanctity of our mobile devices, operating under the radar in a multitude of countries across the globe. The Insight Group's report from March 2024 serves as a beacon, shedding light on the intricate infrastructure that underpins Predator's widespread and targeted incursions. The nations ensnared in Predator's web-span continents, from Angola to Armenia, Botswana to Egypt, and beyond to Kazakhstan, Mongolia, Oman, the Philippines, Saudi Arabia, and Trinidad and Tobago. These countries, diverse in culture and geography, share the common plight of being battlegrounds for digital surveillance, where the privacy of citizens is under siege by this invasive technology. Predator is marketed as a tool for counterterrorism and law enforcement, yet its application often strays far from these noble purposes. Instead, it has been wielded against the very fabric of civil society, targeting journalists, politicians, and activists who stand as pillars of democracy and free speech. The report underscores the grim reality that despite significant exposures, the infrastructure facilitating Predator's operations remains robust and adaptive, highlighting a pervasive challenge that transcends national boundaries and impacts individuals on a deeply personal level. At the heart of Predator's menace is its ability to gain complete control over a device's most private functions, microphone, camera, and data storage, without the slightest hint to the user. This capability not only poses a grave threat to individual privacy and legal rights, but also to the physical safety of those targeted. The high cost of deploying Predator indicates a focus on high-profile individuals, underscoring the urgent need for awareness and protective measures. In an effort to combat the misuse of spyware like Predator, the European Union has initiated measures aimed at curbing its abuse among member states. However, the effectiveness of these measures remains a subject of debate, prompting a call to action for stronger safeguards and international cooperation. In the face of this digital onslaught, cybersecurity experts advocate for a proactive stance. Regular updates to phone software, frequent device reboots, and the adoption of lockdown modes are recommended strategies to fortify defenses against predators' invasive reach. Moreover, the implementation of mobile device management systems and the separation of personal and corporate devices are critical steps in safeguarding digital privacy. As we navigate through the digital age, the emergence of Predator spyware serves as a stark reminder of the evolving landscape of cyber threats. The Insight Group's report not only highlights the technical sophistication of Predator's infrastructure, but also the ethical and legal quandaries posed by its deployment. The persistence of such spyware, with minimal changes to its mode of operation, suggests a continued threat to civil liberties and personal security. In a significant move to curb the proliferation of invasive spyware like Predator, the United States government has taken decisive action by imposing sanctions against key figures associated with its development and distribution. Among those targeted is Tal Dillian, the owner of the company behind Predator, along with other individuals and entities linked to the spyware's operations. These sanctions represent a critical step in the international community's efforts to address the ethical and legal challenges posed by mercenary surveillance tools. By restricting the financial and operational capabilities of those behind Predator, the U.S. aims to deter the misuse of spyware and protect the fundamental rights of individuals worldwide. This development underscores the growing recognition of the need for a concerted and robust response to the shadowy world of cyber surveillance, where the stakes for privacy and security are higher than ever. As nations and organizations rally to confront this challenge, the imposition of sanctions serves as a powerful reminder of the tools at our disposal to combat the spread of technologies that threaten our digital freedoms. In conclusion, the battle against digital predators like Predator is ongoing, demanding vigilance, awareness, and collective action from all stakeholders. 
Technology holds the promise of empowerment and progress, but only if wielded with responsibility and respect for human rights. As we stand at the crossroads of privacy and surveillance, the choices we make today will shape the digital legacy of tomorrow. Subscribe to SecNews TV. Stay informed, stay secure, and together, we can forge a future where technology serves as a beacon of freedom, not a tool of oppression.